Besties, do you know how almost every civilization has a flood myth? Like Noah's Ark, the Epic of Gilgamesh. Even here in Australia, there are indigenous Australian myths about a huge flood. Norse mythology, Irish mythology, Polynesian mythology, they all have this huge flood myth where a huge flood just like decimates the earth and a bunch of people die. Well, the ancient Greeks had one as well. Do you remember how Prometheus gave fire to humans and that made Zeus really angry? So they sent Pandora down with her box of evils and then she opened the box and then all these diseases and terrible things came out. Well, essentially, Zeus was really displeased with the fact that uh, humans were not really worshipping him correctly. They would forget to honour the gods with sacrifices, etc. So Zeus was like, no more humans. I'm going to get rid of all of them. Except for two, Prometheus has a son called Deucalion and his wife Pyrrha is really nice, so we'll keep them. So Prometheus told his son Deucalion, look there's going to be a huge flood and all of the humans will be wiped out. So Deucalion and Pyrrha are like, okay, we're going to build a boat. And just like Prometheus said, out of nowhere a huge deluge descended on the earth. No breath of wind, no one saw it coming, except for these two. They got into their boat and the storm went for days and days and days until there was no ground, no earth to be seen. They finally rested on top of Mount Parnassus, the only bit of land that they could find. And they were so upset, all their friends and family, all Deadly Bones, the whole of humanity, gone. So they cried and they cried and they cried. Eventually the god Hermes came down and said, please stop crying. He wiped away their tears and gave them a very cryptic message. He told them to throw the bones of their mother over their shoulders without looking back. And they were like, what, what does this mean? Then they realized their mother, everybody's mother, is Mother Earth, right? Gaia, the goddess. So they picked up some stones and threw them over their shoulders and then the stones turned into little babies. Each stone that they threw over their shoulders would turn into a human being. Deucalion threw some stones over and they were all men. And Pyrrha threw stones over her shoulder and they were all women. Thus giving rise to a completely new human race. Where Deucalion and Pyrrha became king and queen. Isn't it wild that there are so many stories about a huge myth in so many ancient societies that never had anything to do with each other? My dad said something interesting because like there's this debate on whether there's like physical archaeological evidence for a huge flood, right? But at the end of the ice age, the ice caps melted and that completely changed, you know, where all the seas and everything were. Could be one explanation why there are so many flood myths in so many societies.